Here with uh, women's soccer head coach Lars Anderson previewing Wednesday evening's matchup uh, against nationally ranked Wingate at Varsity Grounds. Five o'clock kickoff. Uh, admission is free as, as always. Uh, coach, let's talk about your team. Five out of the last seven, you've gotten wins and you're really playing well right now. You're coming off a tough loss, uh, double overtime loss to Georgia College, but your team is really playing well right now. Uh, we are. I think we've uh, bounced back, uh, you know, uh, from uh, an 0-3 start. Uh, unfortunately, you know, we, we uh, lost uh, uh, our leading goal scorer, Courtney Crump, in our last game. Uh, but I've always had the next man up philosophy. Uh, yes, she's probably an irre irreplaceable player, but uh, we're going to have to spread the goal scoring around, find some other ways. Uh, we're adjusting our style of play. Obviously, we're tweaking our, our system of play. And, and these are the things that, that come about in, in college soccer. And uh, we can sit around and, and you know, complain about it, or we can try to find a solution. And we're, we're going to try to find a solution. I'm excited about playing Wingate. It's always a tight game. Last year, it was a 1-1 draw. Uh, and I mean, I can go back to it's a rivalry that extends back to my first year here. As a matter of fact, little known fact, maybe to some of our newer fans, but the first opponent we ever played, the first women's soccer game ever played at UNC Pembroke was a game against a Wingate at our old field at Lumbee Hall. So the rivalry go, dates back to, to the inception of the program, and it's always been a good one, and I'm excited about playing Wingate. Well, Wingate nationally ranked number 11 uh, in the latest N NSCAA poll. Uh, what do you know about Wingate uh, this year, and, and what kind of challenges are they going to bring to you on Wednesday? Uh, well, I, Wingate is always a team that um, uh, has uh, you know great pattern play, uh, very disciplined players. They're well coached. Um, I um, anticipate nothing uh, but, but, a, but a very competitive game. Uh, we have a number of scouting reports on them. Uh, we, 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 we know what to expect from them. Now it's just a matter of uh, can, can we make the adjustments? We, some of, obviously, you're aware of the fact that our injuries are piling up, but, but we're having to get some players play out of position in new positions. Uh, but but um, that's our job now. We started that process obviously uh, yesterday in training, and we will continue today. And hopefully, um, you know, we'll be ready come five o'clock kickoff tomorrow. Well, you already hit on this once. Uh, the series pretty tight, six four two uh, winged advantage. What is it about this series, this rivalry, that makes it so entertaining? Well, I think both teams have had a lot of success. I think they've been in the NCAA tournament three or four times. We've been in the NCAA tournament uh, twice. Uh, we've never played each other in the NCAA tournament, uh, uh, but, but we have been you know, regionally and nationally ranked programs uh, for a long time. And, and obviously the geographic proximity, the campuses are about 90 miles apart. Uh, they're a private school, we're a public university. You can continue uh, you know, with, it, with the analogy if you want. Uh, I, think, I, I think it's always been a healthy rivalry. Uh, obviously, I've been the coach throughout the 15 years. Uh, they've had, uh, I've seen uh, Wingate through three or four different coaches, but it's always been a, in a, great, uh, been a great rivalry, regardless of who is in charge over there. And, and, and again, I look forward to it. I look forward to continuing the rivalry. And, and it, it's always been good entertainment. I hope co people come out and watch it.